person with Collision Hub and we're back out on the floor for Skills USA, getting everything ready to hopefully get these students in here tomorrow and get competing. We've stopped by to visit with Jason from iCar, but this week he's more of the welding, uh, I guess, coordinator for the welding competition? Yeah, I think the uh, official title is uh, I don't know, committee chairperson for the welding segment, I guess is, uh, is what we might call it. So. That's amazing. So tell me a little bit about, um, we know we've, we've done the refinishing segments, we've gone through them on the body repair yet, and then they're going to do some welding. So what, what are they going to do while they're here? We're going to uh, use actually the iCar welding qualification test deal, very similar to what we're doing for the welding qualification test um, at iCar. A little bit different, um, just to try to save on some coupons, we have them make them on one coupon. So they need to do a uh, butt joint with backing weld. Okay. Uh, we can do a, they have them do a fillet weld, and then they do a uh, plug weld as well. And they do that in both the, uh, the vertical position, and then they have to do an overhead, overhead weld as well. So uh, we've got adjustable stands, so they can uh, adjust the stands and uh, make the, the required welds. We just do the visual inspection using the iCare welding gauges. We don't do destructive testing, just the visual inspection. We just uh, the resources and the time it takes to do destructive testing just doesn't allow for it. Right. So now, how long have you been involved with the competition? Um, I've been involved in the, in the committee itself uh, since my 12th year, 12th or 13th year, um, that I've been actually involved in the segment part of the welding competition. Um, prior to that, um, <clears throat> I had done some judging at the Wisconsin state level. And uh, back when I was in high school, I was a, a Skills USA participant. I had a, a wonderful instructor and advisor, uh, my father, that got me involved with it, uh, allowed me to compete at the state level and at the national level. So I went to uh, the national competition back when it was in Wichita and Kansas many years ago now. Um, and so I've been involved with it since I was a freshman in high school, really. So I've been involved in it for uh, you know, 20 plus years now. Well, I think you're a great example of, of the people that have come out of the skills program that's in our industry today and why it's so vital to be looking at these students as future employees in our industry. But um, I think one of the things you were talking to me about is some of the leadership benefits and the other things besides the skills portion yeah. that this means to these students. Yeah, you know, that's the uh, the Skills USA National Leadership Conference and Skills. Um, it's just a lot of it really has to do with with building the, the skills of these, building future leaders of the industry. Um, I know that we've got a number of committee members that are former Skills USA competitors. Um, Dan Bailey was a former Skills USA member. Ronnie Bolton's been actively involved in it. So we've got a lot of people that have, have grown up around formerly VICA and now Skills USA. Um, but it really does build a lot of leadership qualities. Um, there's got a lot of different events, whether it's regional or state events or national events, uh, to really you know and get raise the level of skills. You know, we've tied the interview section into the, into the competition now. They bring resumes with them, so it's really about those pieces as much as as much as the competition. Um, a lot of these kids uh, that are from all over the country, you know, they probably they may not have been outside their home state before. It gives them a great opportunity to come and, and meet new people and and meet some of the committee members and. Um, I, you know, speaking as a former Skills USA participant, I know that the committee members and the judges can really have an impact on uh, on, on, um, on on a young person, on just uh, how you work, interact with them, and, and help them along. And um, I was fortunate enough when uh, uh, there was a gentleman that I remember from when I was a competitor uh, that uh, was uh, he was he was actually the committee chairperson the first year I started. So it was great to come back and start working with him. Um, you know, after after many years. Of it's a great organization and uh, I'd like to get a lot more people involved in it. I think it's uh, an organization that a lot of people in the quiz repair industry and other industries um, just aren't as aware of as they should be. So um, to get the word out there and get more people actively involved in it, whether again, it's, it doesn't need to be at the national competition level, there's state competitions, there's local competitions, and just getting involved with the organization itself um, really does a lot for not only for the students, but you know, it gives you a, a personal kind of pride satisfaction as well. Right. I think one of the things we talk about is is the value of a student finding a mentor for life, and and you know, we talk in this industry about wanting good technicians and wanting more of them in our industry, and it's really our responsibility as what we would consider the good and educated of the industry yeah. to be mentors and shepherd these uh, yeah. these new technicians into us. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so t I don't get a chance to sit down with you very often. I think yeah. you're you're running around everywhere. Tell me uh, what's new with iCar before we let you go. Well, we've got a couple of real exciting things going on. One thing that we're currently working on is a new course that's going to be out uh, late uh, late next next winter. Um, it's going to deal with best practices around high strike steel repair. Uh, we've had a steel unitized structures and technology course for a few years that kind of dealt with the theory side of advanced high strength steels and ultra high strength steels and the new steels that are out there. Now we're going to get into the application side of things. You know, what's different about anchoring? What's different about measuring and, and um, building a repair plan? Um, what's different about straightening? You know, can you straighten? What can you do? Um, different options for you know, how, what's the best way to remove parts? 
you know, we always say follow vehicle, make recommendations, but they don't have recommendations on a lot of those things. Um, so we uh, recently held a repairability summit at the Tech Center in Appleton, brought in a number of vehicle manufacturers, um, some research and testing branches, some insurance organizations, some other subject matter experts from Chief and Carliner and, you know, that are actively involved in the conversation. And we had a great conversation just about, you know, what's different about today's vehicles and how do we approach today's vehicles from a repair standpoint. And uh, we're going to try to, we're gonna, you know, continue to build that particular course. Uh, probably highlight a little bit of it at NACE and in the iCare Technology Showcase. Talk about some of the things that we learned through our research on that. And they said that you know, ultimately it'll be a course available next year. Uh, so that's really exciting. That's, uh, we're excited about that particular program. It's going to have a, it's going to be a real significant program for the industry, I think. And then the other exciting thing we've got that uh, kind of relates to, to what we're doing here this week with the education segment is at the annual conference this year in Salt Lake City, the iCar Annual Conference, uh, we've got a big announcement about the education segment, some of the work that's been going on with that particular segment. So you have to stay tuned for more Great. on that. Can't give you a whole lot of insight into that today. but <laughs> can't get the scoop. Uh, can't get the scoop today. <laughs> I think uh, I might get in a little bit of trouble for that. But uh, no, it's going to be an exciting announcement. Um, it's going to, I think I think it is OK to share. It's probably going to align close with the iCar Professional Development Program and uh, really, again, start building on the, the knowledge and skills of, of these young adults that are going to be coming into our industry. Uh, well, thank you for taking the time to share. And you got a great team up there in Appleton and all these great things it. coming out of there and some new training. And education is so important right now. The vehicles are changing so rapidly. And you just want to stay on top of everything. And that means almost yearly, monthly, quarterly, some form of training for either you, yourself as an individual, or your repair facility. So we'll stop back in a little bit tomorrow right. and watch the students do a little welding. It's always impressive. All right, Thanks. Great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. We'll be back a little bit later.